Yeah, so this was my original scale, and then this is the repaired display that I purchased in not working condition off of eBay. Yeah, I've been letting it sit here for a while, and it's not doing the runaway weight. Yeah, so I can, I can zero that out, and it'll go back to zero and stay there. As I mentioned, this has an auto-off feature. If it's off, you press and hold the pound kilogram button and then turn it on and you see it says A underscore OF so that turns the auto off feature off and it'll stay on until you turn it off. Now the only difference between this and the other scale I have, this one if I then turn it off and turn it back on now it doesn't say auto off off that's just a temporary setting but yeah that's good to know it's been handy for testing this thing because I was able to leave the scale on and then see if it ran away but uh, anyway I figured out how to get the top off I couldn't find any fasteners underneath and what I found is they have kind of a sticky soft rubbery it's not really sticky but it's like a rubbery compound in the four corners and it's just basically stuck down to these four polyurethane pads that are sitting on top of four strain gauges you can see it's basically an aluminum block and I think they have the the strain gauge is probably mounted on this part here there's basically four of those and they're all identical. They have three wires each. There's a white, black, and red. And then each of those is centered over one of the rubber feet. And that's the one I replaced. Well, this is my scale, so it wasn't missing any feet. Yeah, let's turn it back on. And then I'll, I'll move this over here. Each of these strain gauges measures independently. So there I've got like two and then I'll push on this one over here. And I can push on this one here. A couple pounds. And I can go over on that one there. And yeah, it's a pretty simple circuit board. I'll, I'll try to cut in a high-res photo I took. Yeah, on the the top side of the board here. There's an electrolytic capacitor. That's probably just for the power supply. It's just a four wire connector that comes from the bottom of the scale there. Just a phone jack. And you've got red and black are the nine volts and ground. And then the green and the yellow wires are the signal. But all the circuitry is on the back there. And about all it is, there's a quad op amp and a transistor and a bunch of resistors there. And you can see each strain gauge comes in on a corner of the circuit board. So I think all that quad op amp is doing is then adding up these four strain gauges. You take this weight plus that weight plus that weight plus that weight is the total. And it's just sending back an analog signal of the total weight back to the display unit. So all the intelligence is in here. But like I said, this is the new, to me, display and my old scale. There was a little bit of dust and dirt in here. I blew that out. So I'm not sure what was wrong, but I got this one put back together. And this morning I thought, well, let's just put a battery in it and hook it up here and see if it's still making that weird ever increasing weight. It isn't. So it looks like this one is working again. And I just pulled this off. You know, I was just looking for any bad components. There's only the electrolytic. And supposedly there's a calibration routine. It's something like you hold these buttons down while turning it on. And then it goes into a calibration mode. I can't find any documentation on that, but I found a YouTube video. At least from the video, it looks like you need like a, a calibrated 100 pound weight. 
And it's like, I don't have one of those. So there's this Healthometer Inc. So they're a company that makes a lot of scales. They make like bathroom scales and they make the higher precision scales like you see at a doctor's office. And they make body fat sensing ones. And they, they make a whole bunch of people scales. Uh, there's Rubbermaid, Dymo, Palouse are all part of the same company so you'll find these exact same scales the same model number 4010 there's also a 4040 scale i think it is they'll have different different graphics here but they're the same unit and i think they're all made by this healthometer Company. So yeah, anyway, that's uh, all there is to one of these scales. There's not a lot. It is all analog. I was thinking, you know, maybe there's some digital controller chip, but I looked up the part. I think it's a 324 ARP, which is a quad op amp. It's very high impedance op amp because these strain gauges are pretty low signal level you know they're just a a small resistance change and you basically wire them up as one leg of a, a wheat stone bridge so you have like three resistors and then this is the fourth resistor in a diamond configuration so here's my eight pound weight so it reads roughly 8.1 I think this one only has a two-tenth of a pound resolution. So let me switch. I'm going to switch with the new display, plug it into the new scale, and then we'll see what it reads. Okay, I've swapped the new display, and this is the new scale. And I'm going to put my same eight-pound weight on there. I guess it's the same then. Okay. Yeah, so same weight. It, I guess it doesn't matter which scale you use. 8.0, 8.2. That's the reason I have the small 0 to 5 pound scale because, you know, when you're trying to weigh something like your first class postage, it's got to be 13 or fewer ounces. And with this scale, you just can't resolve. You could tell 0 0.8 and 1 pound. Okay, so that's good. So that's the new display on the new scale. And then I'll have to try plugging my old scale. Let's, let's try that real quick here. Okay, looks like my old display is working with the old scale. And I haven't really done anything <laughs> that, that would have fixed it. It just suddenly seems to be working. There. So maybe I'll leave this sitting here for a while, see if it runs away. But yeah, not seeing any, uh, anything going on there. Oh, there we go. It did change. It registers weight. I can touch one of the the load cells. But at least it's not running away like it was before. Oh, there we go. So my suspicion is it's still this connector here because you can see how it the display glitches a bit. Of course, now it, now it won't do it. But sometimes I can play around with the cable there and get it to do the same thing. Let's see, this was my unit that wasn't working last week, and now it seems to be working just fine. And then this unit off of eBay was not working, and it seems to be working just fine. This one is still doing the oscillation between 0 and 0.2. My old display didn't do that. At least I think I have two working scales now. When I got that one in the mail earlier this week, I had zero working scales. Now I have two. I guess I've made progress. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that. That's my repaired, 3D printed repaired buttons. They seem to work fine.